My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're continuing our video series designed to educate the public, so please subscribe to our channel. Today I want to talk about co-parenting. Co-parenting 101. What are the basics of being able to co-parent? Let's remember the scenario. In a lot of cases, marriages fall apart over disputes regarding the children. If you ask people what the main things are, well, some people say the marriage falls apart because of money issues. Some people say it has to do with the children. Some people will say it has to do with, you know, abuse or the relationship between husband and wife, whatever. But, you know, parenting has got to be in the top three of why these things fall apart. And the reason why I make that comment is because if you cannot successfully co-parent while married, imagine the challenge of doing that when you're, when you're divorced, when you have separate lives when, you know, he now has, you know, another significant other, you have a boyfriend, he doesn't like, imagine throwing that into the mix all the while you're trying to co-parent. There are certain keys to successful co-parenting. And we try to successfully co-parent because we believe it's in the best interest of the children. We believe that uh, having two parents weigh in on what goes on on important decisions is good for your kids. That's why we're trying to do this in the first place. Therefore, number one, you gotta have communication and cooperation, the two C's. You've got to be able to communicate about things that relate to the kids that are, that are significant. And you have to understand, too, how you do it, it doesn't necessarily mean that the other person does it the same way. And it doesn't mean that they're wrong just because they do it differently than you. Um, they may co-parent uh, differently. They may, their style may be more strict. Yours may be looser. Um, they may put a priority more on social things. You may put a higher priority on homework. Whatever it is, you're going to have different styles. The important thing is to communicate about them and to cooperate with each other on those issues. And it really leads in to another topic, which is about respect and about empathy. If you show a disregard or a disrespect for the other parent, particularly in front of the kids, it's only going to trickle down in ways that are going to wither away any kind of cooperation you're ever going to have. As soon as the other parent gets wind of the fact that in their absence you talked them down in front of the kids, you are not going to be able to get any cooperation and any special accommodations that you're going to need. So you've got to make sure that there's appropriate respect and you've got to empathize with the situation. The other parent, they're working, you know, long hours, they need help with the kids, you know. You can't take the position, well, we're divorced, too bad for you. Let's try to be a little more decent and approach this with a little humanity so that we can, you know, ultimately do things for the good of the children. In other words, let's be child-centric about this. We want to do our co-parenting in ways that promote the best interests of the children, okay? Um, we don't want to do it in a way that, while it promotes your own personal interest, it doesn't do the kids any good. Um, you know, you, you may think that you're uh, scoring some points by scheduling uh, doctor's appointments that are crucial on the uh, parenting time of the other parent. But you know what? That's not going to work in the long run. You, you're going to develop a harboring of resentment for that. You're not going to get accommodations that you're going to want on your end. And let's remember, you're going to be parenting that with co-parenting with that ex until those kids are uh, the age of majority, maybe longer. So you've got to keep that in mind. You've got to prepare for the long-range plan, not necessarily what feels good in the, in the short term. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.